Dad. Don't do that. This is a Think Build Test Redneck Edition, maybe. I just wanted to show you something that I thought about, help save you some dollars, and help maybe customize something for the needs you have. So today I'm going to show you uh, the Redneck Sprayer Boom. Uh, so a lot of us don't have a need for spending a lot of money to be able to spray several times a year. And part of my need was a specific length, width, and height because uh, I have obstacles around my yard that I have to be able to get around. And also, it's really windy here, so it's if I have sprayers that are set up real high, uh, like some of the ones you can buy, then uh, it's really hard for me to know that I'm even spraying the weeds that I wanted to. So I'm just going to show you what I did. Uh, I bought a around a hundred dollar tank at uh, Tractor Supply. They have these also at Harbor Freight. Uh, you can get them from Walmart or Amazon. Uh, they're all around a hundred dollars, uh, and it works great. I got a pack of 50 of these off Amazon, and uh, these are Mister nozzles. And I didn't know if they're gonna work, but this is part of. I'm letting you know. It worked. It worked good. I got some a hundred foot of quarter inch flex pipe and uh, that was about ten dollars also on Amazon. As you've seen in the little demo video, uh, you just figure out the spacing for the height you need. Uh, I tested this out and I went about one foot increments uh, in between nozzles based on the height that I had and the angle that the spray goes. So uh, if you want it a little higher off the ground, you can have them further apart. If uh, you want it really close to the ground, you may do them closer together. Uh, so let me just show you kind of what I did on the back of my mower. Now, I built this rack when I was in high school in shop class, so I had that around. Uh, you may be using a four-wheeler rack or whatever. My biggest thing is I didn't want something that was really hard to take on and off because I use the mower for different things and I don't want this on there when I'm trying to mow. You can see that you can use just about anything to be able to have a stiff pipe that's the length that you need. Uh, I measured off and between a couple of the poles and trees that I have I need to be able to get through a seven foot gap. So uh, this is actually a extender for painting and I just extended it out to the length that I need and I just set my closest nozzle to the end and I went a foot in between each one and I got this about eight inches off the ground um, I could do some things to raise it or whatever but like I said because of the wind I want it as low as I can to be able to not just be spraying and misting off into everyone else's yard <laughs> so uh, to keep this simple for the ends I just bent it over and zip tied it down and that caps it off. Um, I use zip ties every so often and I have this set where I can kind of angle these a little out if it's uh, not covering the patch or down. Just uh, there's a couple of things that on the spot you can get it to work. The other thing that was hard to figure out was how to connect the sprayer hose into the piping system. So the easiest way to do it for the uh, one from tractor supply anyway is just unscrew this hose pop that out and then you can just take one of your nozzles and I did it in the center but and I feel like that's probably best for getting equal water to both ends of the pipe in a similar time when you turn the spray on uh, but just take this little grommet out of here and then you can take that where the orange piece used to go 
and just put it on there like that. Tighten it down. And uh, pretty much good to go after that. So there it is. Just pinch the threads on there and uh, that'll hold pretty good pressure. All right, so uh, that's gonna be it for my talking. I'm just gonna do a little bit of demonstrating. The mower's gonna be loud and there's gonna be spraying and stuff, but you'll just kind of see what I just talked about. So I hope this helps you out. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Check out my channel for other tips and other ideas. I didn't invent the boom. I didn't invent any of this stuff, but uh, for 20 bucks, I got a boom instead of having a $200 boom with just two little sprayers. So I kind of found what my options were. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel, check out my other ideas, check out my trailer, and uh, I have upcoming series also you'll not want to miss, so uh, make sure your notifications are on. Alright, thanks YouTube. This part. Right there. Building